Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and this is Makers 46 Cask Strength. Ho, ho, ho. And yet again, I'm super surprised that we haven't done an episode about this because we've done so many episodes. Well, we've done Makers 46. Okay. We haven't done Makers 46 Cask Strength. Okay. And I want to see what the difference is. This is from John Verstraight. John Verstraight, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> Also Jesus. known as the Pole, pole Master. master. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so don't ask the story. It's yeah, it's wildly good. inappropriate. So this is a special limited edition of the Forty Six. If you remember, Maker's Forty Six was them taking their classic Maker's whiskey, yeah, and taking the barrels, yeah, adding some French oak staves into the barrel. I remember the hell out of this. Okay. Adding French oak staves that they, so they did all these different recipes of toasted French oak, charred French oak staves, yeah. all the different levels of things, and they discovered that recipe 46 was the one that they liked the oh, best. Okay, yeah. And so they started yeah. going with that, and sure. they called it Makers 46. Need some help? All right. So this is the cask strength 46. We reviewed the 46 mm -hmm. last year after the Bastards Ball when I was wearing the weird helmet with your hair and things <laughs> on it. Yeah. <laughs> And I brought the original 46 to compare. So, but we're gonna start with the cast. You know what? And the cast strength is, by the way, 55.6% okay. alcohol, 111. Okay. I was about to say, proof. if this was tickling 60, then I would have been pretty stunned because... It's so uh, mild. It, yeah, it's not really punching me in the nose. It's still brown sugary rich like the makers that you know and love. There's a little more heft and wood to it. I really like that, man. I like that nose a lot. There's like oh, a you need to try that. Sweet and tea. That is rich molasses, brown sugar, almost cinnamon roll. Okay. Level of richness. So I'm gonna try it in just a second. But on the nose, but I'm getting wood. a little bit more light and fresh. Yeah. From the character of this whiskey than what I know. you're describing. Try that sip. This is deep, dark brown sugar and cinnamon roll. And then it ends with Ooh. the wood stave. Oh. Woods barrel spice. Big old that flavors, man. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's hefty. Mm. That's the kind of cinnamon roll you have to cut with a knife and a fork. It's got a jiggle. This little whiskey slap and it just starts to jiggle. <laughs> 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 oh, I like it. There's there's several things going on. Like there to your point, like the brown sugar and the cinnamon and the cinnamon roll. You got the bready quality in there. I think this is uh, bourbon with a lot of classic bourbon notes cranked up. But only the deep, rich middle notes cranked mm. up. Mm. Not like the shiny. Uh, honey and not the spice. It's cranked up on the deep, woody, l rich brown sugar notes. That's really good. And spice. Yeah. Well, at this higher proof, the mm -hmm. Maker's Mark cherry note that I always get, it shows up later and later. First, it has to go through all of these other baking spices. The oak shows up before the cherry, which is what I don't usually experience in a Maker's. Okay. Here's what's weird. And then the finish, very slight barrel, mostly uh, a sweet tea finish. That cherry that you talk about? Yeah. I get more on the brown sugar, mm -hmm. but you go to the original Maker's 46, mm -hmm. and the cherry, the brown sugar's gone, and it's all that cherry and woody note. It's much spicier, too. Oh, yeah. So. Do you want to see yes. what the classic Maker's tastes like? Yes. So we did 46 barrel strength, 46 mm -hmm. at 47% alcohol. Man, that's how you know they're dialing it in. Because they could have done 46 at 46% alcohol. Just to be cute. Yeah. But, like, no, no, no. It's actually better at 47. We're going to do 47. Yeah, they found a the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Classic Makers. How does it defer? It's pronounced Difer. <laughs> see what I did? Did you see the comedy in that moment? It's very green tea. Well, you, no, I, no, I, I missed I, it. I yeah. It wasn't near as funny as the Trapper Keeper. Hold, 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 hold a second, though. This was cerebral. This was cerebral. Because you say defer, a, and you're supposed to say differ. You were like to defer is to defer another person's judgment, but I, I corrected you, and people were waiting for me to say <laughs> it's differ, differ, but and I, you corrected it with the other wrong thing, differ. That's very complex. Yes. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> drinking the original Makers makes me miss the Makers Forty Six. You know what I mean? Look, it's fine. Here's the thing. I'm no, it's great. It's on fine. its own. It's fine. Background whiskey, mm -hmm. some sweet, nice, you know, little, little pleasant things going on. Yeah, but the 46. But the character mm -hmm. and the flavors and the richness yeah. and the ba da boom da da ba da 
That shows Take up. Your guns. <laughs> that shows up whenever you start cranking up those those proofs a bit. I agree. And you start doing like the whatever the hell with the 46. <laughs> Michael Hinojosa. How's it going, guys? Long time viewer. And I had a question. What are your thoughts on an ultrasonic age device to age a whiskey? Taboo or normal? So, we may. Our, uh, our sonic device arrived yesterday. Yeah, we're going to play with it, actually. Because yeah. it would be very easy. This is, oh, and this is not only with you. This is like in most things in the world that have um, hobbyists, enthusiasts, whatever. Mm -hmm. People sequester themselves into a little corner of preferences. Right. And everything else is wrong and heathen dogs and they shouldn't do this. So on, on the face of it, ultrasonic aging is bullshit. Everything what we know about aging in wood and trying to cheat times like yeah that we've tried the results and it's not really getting there but the ultrasonic aging thing is like no we're gonna try the hell out of that i think the i think the problem with fast aging which is what that is it's right. attempting to cheat time sure sure but we're I gonna think, try it i think the problem with it is that it's uh well that people have with it is they're asking the wrong question okay and they're trying to answer the wrong question oh. so the question they think they're answering is can we cheat time okay and the answer is no like, said the hobbit in a derelict time machine go ahead yeah uh, yeah, right. <laughs> now, the question they should be asking is, does it make interesting tasting whiskey? Okay. That's a much more interesting question sure, to me, right? Sure, sure. Because the thing is, no, you can't make a one-year-old whiskey taste yeah. like a 10-year-old whiskey. It doesn't work that way. You accelerate certain parts of the aging process, but you don't touch other parts. But you might make something that tastes really good. Right. And that's a whole different conversation. That'll be an upcoming episode on our other channel, The Whiskey Tribe. We got to figure out. How to put that together. It'll, it'll be coming. Yeah, wait, wait. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Uncle Mikey's World. Rex is what I would imagine Shaggy from Scooby-Doo would be like, all grown up. Daniel is definitely Velma. Oh, oh. Why do I have to be Velma? Because it's funny. No. That is funny. <laughs> that is very funny. Uncle Mike's World. He is Velma. Such a Velma. <laughs> the glasses <laughs> and all the dumpy clothing. <laughs> And she's always doing this action. Well, actually, you know, what we need to do... <laughs> uh, I'm, oh. okay, I'm okay with Shaggy. It's fine. The cerebral Shaggy. <laughs> yes, if oh, we know Shaggy, actually, Daniel. Peter. Oh, Nevlin. we do. Peter Nevlin. He we is. know him. Yeah, he He's real. Like the voice. And he lives he in Austin, look, Texas. He looks like Shaggy. Yeah, he delivers. He's built like Shaggy. He has like the Shaggy. voice. He does it because he knows. He knows. He hasn't done it in a while. Probably since he got married and his wife put an end to it. But yeah. he used to dress like Shaggy. Yeah. With On like purpose. Brown corduroy. Yeah. Yeah. Herbal green or whatever. Oh, was, yeah. yeah. The spirit monkey. The. I put this in there just because I love it when the spirit monkey comments. The spirit monkey. <laughs> the spirit monkey's most treasured memory of this vault would have to be when the hobbit girded himself in fireball pajama. <laughs> I like that the spirit monkey refers to himself in the third person like Bob Dole. I enjoy that. Bank. What was this original episode about? Makers, cask strength, 46. It's real good, y'all. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal lover's hearts. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.